12 Inferno Baby Dragons? And the Maxed Out Rocket Spear. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be fun. Star is trying to get himself a thumbnail today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlefish. There was a giant arrow through the middle of the base. I think you might have seen it, barely. LOL. Today we got Navi versus the, the Legends in the Global Clash Cup. And let's see what's gonna happen. This is Japan versus South Korea. We got uh, the Legends going in first with a whole lot of E-Dragons. Tornado Trap spinning. Oh, did, did all of his blimp troops die? That's awkward. We're gonna freeze and rage. Still get through the town hall anyway with that E-Drag bounce. Nicely done. A couple E-Drags on the upper side. Queen with Healer Puppet walking downtown. King has... Ooh, what in the combo? Earthquake Boots Spiky Ball. My brain is confusion. Uh, oh gosh, oh yeah, well those walls opened up. Spiky Ball went all the way around the outside of the base. That's kind of cool. Send the Royal Champion now. <laughs> now the Queen can go inside the walls thanks to the Earthquake Boots. Was that a, was that a big brain play or what? <laughs> I don't know about that. Pop the Champion ability, get through the Ricochet Cannon. Still got Warden on Phoenix ability, but he's gonna go down. We, now we got the Phoenix to help. Spirit Fox to go invisible. Healer's trying to keep that Queen alive. Spirit Fox go invisible one more time. 98, 99, skip the Barbarian King. Take out the Scatter Shot with one Spear Toss. And it's a three star for the Legends to kick off this match. Um, and then I started playing games off stream again, and it like brought my love for gaming back. Like sometimes I just need to play games by myself and not make it feel like like I'm doing it for work or something. Gaku is in with a whole lot of dragons. Oh boy. Pop that Warren ability. Battle Blimp on the left side of the base. King Queen working on the upper side of the base. What equipment do we got? Healer Puppet. What in the Vamp Stash? Spiky Ball, bro. Everybody uses Spiky Ball today. Super Minion Bomb in the middle of the base. Did he have a clone spell? He had two clone spells. Yo, that's a lot of Super Minions. Making them invisible. They took out the CC building. They get the Town Hall. They get everything else around the Town Hall. Not on the right side yet, but some decent value there. Royal Champions in on the lower side of the base with the level 27 Rocket Spear. Gaku's been loving this spear. He has been loving it. And here it goes. Seeking Shield takes out the air defense right away. Rocket Spear, boom, boom. Three shots, get the multi-archer tower, okay. Freeze some of these defenses. Rocket Spear is about to end. But she'll take out the single target Inferno Tower without having to use any spells. All right, all right. You guys tell me, is that Rocket Spear like super epic? Is it amazing? Or is it just kind of meh? What do you guys think? Last free spell there, he didn't even need it. Could have swagged it. Well, that's a clan clash triple all day long and we're all tied up three to three. Oh yeah, I upload videos every day. I'm a dad, I'm going back to my engineering job and gonna be in a PhD program. Taking a whole lot of classes and doing research. The Legends, next attack. Root Riders are in. We got a jump spell. We got an overgrowth spell. Okay. Wall break. King Queen working together. Frozen arrow. Giant gauntlet. Siege. Barracks on the top side of the base. And here we go with the Root Riders. Let's go. Let's go. One headhunter. A lot of Valkyries. Royal Champion. We will use her later. Sure. Does Queen go back around inside? Ricochet Cannon's actually wrecking that Unicorn. Unicorn already dead. That's not good news. Poison Tower pops off on the King. Rage Spell for the Root Riders. Royal Champion's in with the Root Riders now. Gonna need to warn ability soon or we're gonna lose a lot of units. A, a yada units. LOL. Queen takes the Ricochet Cannon. We pop that warn ability. Overgrowth does not hit the Town Hall. Did he do that on purpose or did he miss the Town Hall? I think he did it on purpose. I can't tell. Super Minions out of the Siege Barracks. Sure, but now the Giga Poison. Tornado Trap combo is going to do a lot of damage to us. That's usually one of the benefits of actually overgrowthing the Town Hall. Is that you don't have to get hit by the Giga Poison until later, like at the end of the attack. But it can be risky, right? Because you might one star. Pros and cons. But that Giga Poison did so much damage, bro. The Grand Warden's dead. The Queen's about to die. The Royal Champion's low on health. The Root Riders are all really low. This might actually fizzle out. Royal Champ ability has to clutch up right now. Hog Rider Puppet, Haste Vile. Is it the best combo in the game? Spirit Fox is dead. As soon as that Expo locks on, I think it's game over. Awkward. We're gonna get through the Inferno Tower. Hold on, we got a lot of pigs. Oh, the Giant Bomb, bro. Rip. If that Giant Bomb wasn't there, would he have had a chance? Uh, still maybe no. Unfortunate. 
The legend's gonna end up with a two-star fail here. It's gonna be really high percent though, man. Really high percent. 94, which way do these units go? These two are gonna go up. I don't know if that barb will be able to get the gold mine. Probably not. 95. And that might be it. Nice try, homie. But it falls short there. Yada, the newest member of the Navi is in with Root Riders today. Healing Tome, Frozen Arrow, Giant Gauntlet. Alright. Pretty classic Root Rider smash here. We're gonna send them all from the right side of the base. Some Headhunters, Early Ward Ability, Skeleton Spell on the bottom, Siege Barracks deployed, King Queen working on the outside of the base. No Healer Puppet, but we do have the Frozen Arrow. Poison Spell for two Headhunters going toward the King. Ugh. Poison Lizard's gonna pop the Hound. He's got the Overgrowth. Where does he use it? Well, that answers that question. On the Town Hall and everything to the left of Royal Champion. Gonna go take out the Monolith. Sure. Poison Lizard is gonna pop the Lava Hound. Then we gotta deal with the Pups. Royal Champion's gonna get distracted by Pups. Not take out the Monolith yet. Unless this Root Rider can take it out. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Cool. Queen's chilling. She's gonna take out the Eagle with the help of the Frozen Arrow. We're looking decent for now. We got two Rages. Three Freezes. Still to go. Town Hall is going to be the last thing to go down, though. That's the risky part of this attack. That's the risky part here. There's a freeze. Super minions out of the siege barracks to help out. There's a rage. We got another rage after that. Drop it right in the core with another freeze and a bonus freeze. Come on, champion. Come on, champion. With the help of that last freeze, this is wrecked. This is wrecked. Risky to end on the town hall, but the risk pays off for Mr. Yada. Another three star. And Navi take the lead. Six to five. Ian is in for the legends. Holy giant arrow. Let's go. Giant arrow through the middle of the base. Dragons on the right. Here we go. Healing tome, eternal tome. Everything else exactly what you would expect. Warden ability popped. Battle blimp soaring for the town hall, but the tornado trap hits us. But I don't see any seeking air mines, so he's probably okay. King on the right side with the cute little squad buster skin. We got a royal champion to deploy later. Clone spells in the middle. Oh, that's a lot of clonation. Clone, 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 but every single balloon dies instantly. He got maybe one or two extra buildings because of three clone spells. Is that worth it? Oh my gosh. I don't know, guys. Nine spell space to get one extra scatter shot and one extra builder hut. I don't know if I like it. That's too heavy of an investment. Some super barbs on the left side of the base. Royal champion deployed at nine o'clock. No more extra wall breakers. King still alive with ability. Chilling, wrapping around the right uh, edge of the base. Warden and dragons over here should be able to pick up all the defenses that the king's going to skip. Queen, poison spell, going to fight the barb king. Royal champion's doing healthy for now. She can pop her ability back up to full health. Got the hog rider puppet to help assist. It's still crushed. It's still crushed, but I can't help but feel like some of those clone spells are just swag. What do you guys think? And I mean, we've been saying that for years, ever since like Town Hall 14. A lot of the times when these people use the clone spells in the core like that, I feel like sometimes they just don't get any value at all. But that's a three star. GG to Mr. Ian. Kazuma. 11 dragons, two clone spells. We got a rage gem, a giant arrow. Okay. Let's see where he's going to use this giant arrow. From the left, across the middle. He got two builder huts, but not the sweepers. I bet he was trying to hit the sweepers. Mr. Kazuma here might have whiffed his arrow. I can't tell. Pops the warden ability. Poison tower goes off. He's going to freeze the sweeper. I think he, yeah, I think he meant for the giant arrow to hit those sweepers. Invis. Clone spells. Super minion bomb. Going to be able to take out the town hall. Take out both sweepers. Take out the inferno towers. Oh, this super minion bomb is going to get great value, bro. Don't use any more invis. Hopefully they can get the monolith as well. They do. Oh my gosh. King with the queen. Already popped king's ability. So many dragons alive on the upper side of the base. Drop the champion on the right side of the base. This is crushed. This is crushed. That super minion bomb was incredible. Great value right there. He could swag the last freeze if he wanted to. Or he could use it for speed. But speed doesn't really matter because they already got a defense. Pop that royal champ ability. Drop the last freeze. And this base is deleted. 70 second attack for Mr. Kazuma. The legends with electro dragons on this one. Another giant arrow. Coolio. See where he is. I'll stay zoomed out so we can see that arrow. From the right side of the base. Again, I think they were trying to hit sweepers and the arrow just did not path perfectly. Awkward. So we still got both sweepers alive. 
Oh well. E drags from the top right. Battle blimp. Double rage. Warden ability. Boom, 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 boom. Freeze the sweeper. Battle blimp will get there. No clone spell on this one. Drops the rage. Down goes the town hall with a lot of balloons. You're lucky there's no tornado trap. I guess there was no room for tornado traps. He's got buildings all around touching the town hall. King with a frosty. Interesting choice. Raised up E-Drag. Takes out all the builder huts on the lower side. Okay. Um, rest of the E-Drag's up top with the Grand Warden. He needs to get that CC building down so Ice Golems never come out. He's going to invest a Rage and a Freeze up there to help them out. Other two E-Drag's are way down south with the heroes. We need to use the Wall Breaker to get access to that air defense maybe. E-Drag's really do not want to go toward the CC building. That's a little bit awkward. A little bit awkward because there's going to be Ice Golems or something in there. Oh, it's on 1 HP. You gotta be joking, bro. Yeah, I think he's fine anyway. Heroes still have a lot of HP. Send the champion straight to the core and pop her ability immediately. Drop the skeleton spell. Here come the ice golems, but she can clear some of the defenses first. Skeleton traps on the right side. King with giant gauntlet trying to get through the wall. Queen can reach the inferno tower. Send a minion to the CC building. We're at 99%. Just get the CC building. Minion going for it while we're frozen by ice golems. And we get it. GG. The E-Dragons work, even when the Giant Arrow doesn't. That's another three star for the Legends. Star's Nose is in with 12 Inferno Baby Dragons? And the Maxed Out Rocket Spear. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be fun. Star's trying to get himself a thumbnail today. Inferno Babies from every single angle. King Queen on the bottom side with a wall break. Healer Puppet, Healing Tome. Try to keep an eye out for this Rocket Spear with the Royal Champion. He's got a Stone Slammer currently activated. Warden's on the left side. A couple wall breaks there to allow the King and Queen a lot of value. Send the Stone Slammer to that single target Inferno Tower. Do we have to invest a Freeze? He's not going to. Wow. Gonna let the King... Well, King gets out of there in time. Okay. Town Hall. Doing a lot of damage. We're gonna Freeze it once. Inferno Baby Dragons take out the Barb King. A lot of red air bombs hitting Inferno Babies. Royal Champion on the right side. Already using the Rocket Spear. Go, go, go. Look at the value it gets. He's able to take out that expo. Freezing the town hall. Two Inferno Baby Dragons trying to take out the town hall. Rocket Spear doing damage on the right side of the base. Popping the Warden ability so late in the attack. I think all the Inferno Babies are dead. He just pops the Warden ability for the Super Dragon. That came out of the Stone Slammer. What the? Rage and Freeze to help the Royal Champion get through the core of the base. It's wrecked. It's wrecked. Inferno Baby Dragons. Rocket Spear combo. And Stars absolutely crushes this base. GG. Jerry is in for the legends. They must triple again their last attack here and then cross their fingers and hope for a defense Zap quake on the left side inferno tower. Sure. We got some good old-fashioned Lalo here. All right. I like it <laughs> Zap Sui Lalo three lava hounds King going inside with a couple wall breakers. Oh, he had one zap that he dropped delayed What the? Queen chilling on the bottom side with the healer puppet sure Sure. We got an ice golem. We're going to use it with the queen. King makes the funnel to set up the queen to walk the right way. Might as well pop the ability. No, he's, he's got invis vial, so he's not going to pop it early. Ice golem did not freeze the multi-archer tower, and that's doing a lot of damage, man. Queen going to get through it, though. She got to pop ability right there. Get through that. Get through the warden statue. And we're going to go ahead and start the Lalo from the right side of the base. Here we go with the Battle Blimp, with the Lava Hound, with the Headhunters. Pop the Warden ability immediately. Boom, boom, boom. Now that freeze on the Invis Tower was late as heck. But I think he's still going to get it because the Yetis are trapped inside that compartment. He'll still get the Town Hall. Rage going to help out. Haste into the core. Got a Royal Champion working on the southeast side of the base. Queen's still alive, trying to beat on a wall, doing what Queens do best. Tesla Farm popping up in the core of the base. Down with the Town Hall. Balloons still making their way through. Poison Towers are slowing us down quite a bit, though. Royal Champion with the Spirit Fox. Still doing her thing. We got her ability. Why does he still have an extra lightning spell? He brought like two extra lightning spells. Or, or what the heck happened? Last Lava Hound still alive. But the Royal Champion on defense also still alive. Queen got through the wall. She can help out. Royal Champion ability is going to carry. Grand Ward is still healthy as well. Hog Rider Puppet. Haste Vile. Free spell combo with a Head Hunter. Royal Champion gets through everything. It's going to be another triple. For the Legends. They're going to finish with 14 stars today. Putting the pressure on Klaus to do well on the last attack to win this. They had 95% is their only fail, which means Klaus has to get 96 or better. He needs 96% or better, and he's going with the fireball. 
with the fireball and 29 rocket balloons. Oh boy. It's getting a little spicy with it. Skeleton spell. Huh? Quake. Quake again. Invis, invis, invis. Warden. Fireball. Hits the town hall. Down goes everything except the town hall. But the log launcher can finish it off. Ooh, log launcher. How low is that town hall? 10% health. 6% health. 1% health. Log finishes off the town hall. Woo! You love to see it. The logs of a log launcher actually take the town hall out. Super Dragon comes out. Warden and Owl joining forces with the Super Drag. Pop the Queen ability. She's got Healer Puppet down here. On the left, we've got a jump spell for the King. Royal Champion's behind him. Free spell the Monolith. Rocket balloons all around the left side now. Super Dragon's still alive up top. Sure. Queen gonna stay on the outside of the base with their Healer Puppet. She might stay alive five ever. King still getting some value. Royal Champion very healthy with the Spirit Fox. Just gotta use these rocket balloons to get everything now. Rage the King and the Royal Champion. Free spell for the Inferno Tower and the Rage Tower so it doesn't go off too early. Pop that Royal Champion ability soon. Maybe. There's another freeze. Rocket balloons. Here we go. Here we go. Super Dragon. Grand Warden took out the enemy Archer Queen. So the Rocket Balloons don't have to worry about her. Invis the Champion so she gets bonus value. Taking out these Inferno Towers that are raised up in the core to help the Rocket Balloons stay alive five ever. This is looking great for Mr. Klaus Nose. He still has 14 Rocket Balloons. He might be able to swag a bunch of them. Oh gosh, this is wrecked. This is wrecked for Klaus. Grand Warden. Rage Gym. Spams all the rocket balloons from the other side of the base. Could have swagged most of them. Down go the last couple buildings. Down goes the Royal Champion. That is a clan clash triple and a perfect war for Na'Vi. They win this match over the Legends 15 stars to 14.